Hi, my name is Natalie Garcia, and today I will be talking about my research. Since I was a little girl, I've been interested in becoming an FBI agent, which is why my initial question for my research was, what are the different learning styles of the FBI? As I began to research this, I found three articles, which were called the FBI Academy, New Agent Training, and focus on training. All three articles were very similar. Since they all talk about how the FBI is trained and their training at the new academy in Quantico. They had their similarities as well as their differences. The first and second articles seemed very different since the first one talked about their transition after the death of their director and the second one talks about the current FBI and how it works. With their similarities and differences, I also came upon a gap that I found very important. They missed out on questioning actual FBI agents. They did not include any FBI agent interviews in their articles, nor was any of the articles written by an actual FBI agent. I found this significant because they're basically not being very credible. They're showing no proof that they're really trained that way. It's important to fill it in because someone who is thinking of joining would much rather appreciate hearing what someone in the field has to say about it, rather than hearing what someone believes or found through other secondary sources. As I began to say this and write this down, I began to think, well, maybe this is just my own opinion. So I decided to create my own experiment or own little research to find out if this was true or not. Therefore, the research I did consisted of seven people, three students, two teachers, and two business owners. The way my experiment was, I asked all these seven people to read one of my sources and then watch one short documentary. After they read and watched the video, I asked them three questions, which are as follow. After reading an article and watching the short documentary, which did you find more informative? I also asked, which source intrigued you more? Then my third and final question was, if you had to choose one source to encourage others to become FBI agents, which would you choose? I had three students read the article named FBI Academy by Julie R. Lincolns. Then I had them watch a f- short four-minute video called FBI Special Agent Careers. Then I had teachers read Focus on Training by Jonathan Anderson. I also had them watch a four-minute video called Becoming an Agent Inside the Classroom. Then I had the two business owners read New Agent Training by the FBI.gov. The results I got from the three high school students were all very similar. Two out of three students found the video to be more informative. However, one student found the article to be more informative. With that said, all three students found the video more intriguing compared to the article. These all agreed they choose the video to encourage others to become an FBI agent. For example, Caitlin Uribe said she'd choose the video because you can see the tactics they use and it's easier to watch than read. She also said you need to see it in order to believe it. Another student, Lydia Rodriguez, said the video was more informative and it intrigued intrigued me more because I could actually see what they were doing. When asked what she'd 
choose to encourage others to become an FBI agent, she said, I would choose the video because visuals catch attention. Actually seeing the equipment they use, the mock town, the training they do, all those things allow someone to picture themselves there. The last student I questioned, Amber Segura, was the one student who found the article more informative, but said she was intrigued by the video. She also said, if I were to encourage someone to become an FBI agent, then I would show them the video because they show you live action and the training they do. The two teachers I questioned, Mr. Ibarra and Mrs. Cantu, both had two different opinions when asked which was more informative. Mr. Ibarra found the video to be more informative, but Ms. Cantu thought the articles were more informative. Mr. Ibarra said the video was more informative since it shows what they do. Ms. Cantu said the article was more informative because it tells us exactly what they do. Although they differed which was more informative, they both believed the video was more intriguing. They both also agreed that they choose the video to encourage others to become an FBI agent. Mr. Ibarra said, I choose the video to encourage others to become an FBI agent because it contains more information in the article and has visuals. Ms. Cantu said, I would choose the video because it's going to get people interested in it more than an article that most people don't want to read. Both of the business owners answered Similar to all three questions, they both agreed that the video was more informative, intriguing, and could be used to encourage others. They said things like, The video was more informative because it contained lots of facts and real-life experiences. The video was intriguing as well because you can see exactly what they do at the FBI. I would personally use the video to encourage others to join the FBI because it has a lot of visuals that would grab their attention. Once I collected all my data from my research, I decided to write in similarities. Everyone I questioned agreed that the video was more intriguing and they would encourage others to become FBI agents using the video. However, there was one difference in my research. I found that two out of all the seven people I questioned said they thought the article was more informative. I, to be honest, expected them all to find the video more informative. However, they didn't. I mean, I understand how they could find the articles more informative because they were pretty lengthy and did contain a lot of information. But I thought the videos were more informative since it's from a real life FBI agent. Maybe the question I asked wasn't the question I should have asked. I think what I'm trying to say is that I considered the videos to be more credible than the actual articles. Maybe next time if someone decides to research this, they should ask if they find the article to be more credible or the video to be more credible. However, I believed my questions worked all fine. It answered my question in the end. I've come to the conclusion that, based on my research, in order to get others interested in a field, for example, the FBI, seeing exactly what they do in the field or hearing the experiences FBI agents have to tell, will grab people's interest way more than an article that's used secondary sources to gather their information. With that said, I believe recruiters out there should probably show their recruitees videos and include professionals in the field. They should also tell their own experiences they've gone through while in the field. They should more rather provide them with visuals rather than having them read an article online which will only bore them and not tell them actual facts people want to hear the truth so tell them the truth with your experiences